My name is Robin Newman and I would like to welcome you to the first episode of Wine and Bees. I will be joined by our good friend and resident wine expert, Stephanie Kalkman, to learn about wine and get out of the box, so to speak. I will also show you all the behind the scenes happenings with the bees. Each episode will show you different stages of events from honey production to honey extraction and a little bit of farming thrown in there too. I hope you enjoy learning with me in our chaotic life. Hi. And she's a great friend of ours that knows a lot about wine. So I'm just gonna show you right now how I drink wine. First off, I see the ice cubes. That's throwing me off a little bit. Oh, and it's a brand new bottle. Oh, maybe take the bottom off. There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we are I not am here to correct you. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. Let me take a sip and then we'll throw this away. <laughs> okay. So, uh, first off, nothing is sacred. If that's how you like to drink your wine, you go for it. You okay. rock that girl. Okay. You're not going to get the best flavor profiles from your wine. You're watering it down a bit, but you know, whatever. <laughs> if that's what works for you. Okay. Um, what are we starting with today? Today we are starting with Miser Riesling, a dry Miser Riesling. Um, so this comes to us out of Germany and it's in the classic German picnic style, the one liter bottle. Um, and it's just nice, crisp, clean, easy drinking, and perfect after working in the sun all day. Okay. Perfect. So Riesling is to be an extremely sweet grape, but it does come in two different styles. You can do sweet or dry, and the dry ones can be really refreshing. Um, in this case, Trocken means okay. it's dry. Um, yeah, you could pair this with absolutely anything, usually spicy foods goes okay. with, but... Um, oh, and then we're supposed to spin it? And always swirl. Swirl. When you swirl your wine, <laughs> spin it, swirl it, do whatever you want. All it does is it opens up, gives some oxygen to the wine, and opens up the flavor profiles a bit. Okay. And then after that, you're going to have a little sniff of your wine. See what notes you pick up. What are you picking up? Tart. It's tart. <laughs> it's tart. It is. Yeah. Riesling always has a lot of acid, so you're bang on. That. Okay. Oh, yeah. great. Um, Winning. Yeah, right? See, so you know what you're doing. Um, I get apples and pear and just a lot of fresh, fresh, nice, crispy notes in there. Okay. And what do you think? Go for it. Oh, that's very nice. So that odd noise I made there? Yeah. Was simply breathing in oxygen over my wine. Okay. In my mouth. So it kind of gets all the wine over your entire palate. Okay. So not and gulping kind of it like I do. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm always down for a gulp of wine. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can do that to get a bit better flavor profile if you want, or if you're a wine nerd like me and you just do it even with water nowadays when you're off guard. Um, yeah. So you just kind of take a sip. Kind of just breathe in through your teeth. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be funny at parties now. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to any like wine parties, you'll notice half the room is <laughs> all the time making <laughs> slurping noises and everything. It's real classy. Really good. Okay. We pretend to be classy, but. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. Just like that. What do you think? I think it's very nice. Mm -hmm. It is. It's Super really refreshing, nice. hey? Can I put ice in it? Yes. <laughs> Yes, you can. Now that you've tried it the right way, now you can put all the ice in there you want. Miser Riesling out of Germany. Thanks for stopping in. Cheers. Cheers. Alberta lost 45% of their hives this winter. We ourselves lost four hives. We purchased packages of bees from New Zealand because we are fancy like that. 6,000 bees arrived during the April snowstorm. We had to shelter them in the hives in the heated barn. The following video shows a bit of the craziness, and this was the day we put them outside. Okay, this is uh, precision. <laughs> Thank God we're not defusing a nuclear bomb. <laughs> I know, we're going off by now. <laughs> there she is, she's trying to get out. Don't want don't her lose her. Out. 
boxes in there. Okay. Put the whole thing in. Put it on from this side, please. Yeah. Okay. Put it in. Okay. Move on. <laughs> A super refers to the boxes placed on a beehive for bees to store honey. This also helps in relieving congestion and overcrowding within the hive. Come from the outside, right? You know that. Never okay. open the middle up. Did you, do you feel like an astronaut in this, Lori? Yes, I do. <laughs> feel just like Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Actually, I feel more like Buzz Aldrin because he never got to go to space. He, he never got to go on the moon, right? Oh yeah, look oh, at that. Oh, look Beautiful. at that. Beautiful. Brood and they got honey around the outside, see? What a lane, Queen. We're good. We're good. All right. You can leave that on there, doesn't hurt. Put the Queen extruder on. Right, collateral damage. <laughs> okay. And then we're putting another, we're putting a super on, correct? Yeah, we're putting a super on. That's it. Didn't quite make it, but there's a saying in beekeeping, four high by the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, they're just putting honey in there now, see it? Okay. You see it glistening? Yes. All right, we're done. Good.